I challenged myself to code every day for 30 days and here's how it went and what I learned. For those who don't know, the 30 day coding challenge is exactly what it sounds like. You commit to coding every single day for 30 days straight. It's a great way to build consistency, improve your skills and develop coding as a habit. But as I quickly found out, it's not as simple as it sounds. As you all know, if you already saw my videos, my passion is ethical hacking, not at all code development. But to be honest, it is a little bit difficult for me because it doesn't come as easily as hacking. Not that hacking is easy, because it isn't. It just makes more sense to me than coding. But as I told in my video about why a hacker should know how to code, it's essential for a hacker to know how to code. By the way, if you want to learn more about why a hacker should learn how to code, then watch this video here. So, I challenge myself because even though coding is my Achilles heel, I want to be better in turn coding into a skill. But let me tell you guys, on my first attempt, I failed big time. This happened because I really like to code. Just kidding. I don't really like to code that much. And it was never a habit. So the weekend came and I forgot to solve the challenge and well, you know the rest. I decided to try once again and I said to me, well, now the first thing that I will do in the morning will be solving the coding challenge so I can forget about it and be better at coding and finally finish the challenge. Well, guys, guess what? I failed once again. I forgot once again about the challenge. Maybe code isn't for me. Nah, I refused to give up, so I didn't. I realized that I needed to be more organized and disciplined. And on my third attempt, I made solving the coding challenge the very first thing that I did in the morning. But also to make sure I wouldn't forget, I set up an alarm clock as a daily reminder. Honestly, that was the game changer. The alarm clock kept me consistent and helped me complete the challenge without missing a single day. And we arrived at today, the last day of my coding challenge that I already solved, by the way. We went over the struggle that it was to fulfill my goal. But we are not here just to talk about my failures, because failures are part of the process, but the real value lies in what you learn from them. So here are my biggest takeaways from completing the 30-day coding challenge. Consistency and adapting your approach are key. After failing twice, I realized that I needed to create a system to hold myself accountable. And using an alarm clock to remind me of the challenge was a simple but powerful change that kept me on track. And uh, it taught me that small changes can make a big difference in achieving your goals. So, consistency doesn't just happen, you have to create it. You don't need to know everything about Python to succeed. Python is a vast language and trying to master every detail can be overwhelming. Instead, I learned that with uh, strong research skills, you can achieve incredible results. Whenever I face a roadblock, I would turn to documentation, forums, online resources to find solutions. And also my husband was a huge help uh, with some challenges. This experience showed me that knowing how to find answers is often more important than knowing all the answers up front. And with time you will see that the things that you are learning will come to you from you. Coding every day sharpens your problem solving skills. By coding every day, I trained myself to approach challenges more creatively and logically. It's not just about writing code. It's about thinking critically, uh, breaking down problems and finding efficient solutions. By the end of the challenge, tasks that felt impossible on day one were manageable simply because I built the habit of solving problems daily. 30 days is just the beginning. One of the biggest lessons that I learned is that 30 days isn't enough. Challenges like this are great for jumpstarting your progress, but the real value comes from keeping the momentum going. If you stop right after the 30 days, much of what you've learned can fade with time. And trust me, getting back on the horse isn't easy. So this experience taught me that consistent practice beyond the initial challenge is crucial for turning short-term gains 
into long-term skills. If you are thinking about starting a 30-day coding challenge, here are my tips. Know yourself. I know that this seems a little bit obvious, but it's not always easy. For me, I didn't know that I needed an alarm clock to stay on track until I failed twice. So find uh, what works for you and stick with it. Another tip is understand what you are coding. Even if you use online resources to help, take the time to understand every line of code that you write. And this is because this will help you learn faster and make sure that your code is efficient and not redundant. My last tip is keep going after 30 days. The real magic happens when you keep coding beyond the challenge. Persistent pays off and the skills you build will only get stronger with time. To stay committed to this new skill, I will start doing coding projects for hackers and I will share the results with you guys. Now I want to hear from you. Have you tried the 30 day coding challenge or are you planning in starting one? Let me know in the comments below because I'd love to hear about your journey and learn from your experiences. Also, if you are looking for inspiration, check out my GitHub where I've uploaded all the solutions for the challenges that I solved. And also you can use platforms like Ekerank to start your journey. And this is it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to this channel for more content like this. See you next time, stay curious, stay safe and keep pushing yourself to be your best. Bye bye!